Okay, so let's um, talk about the post-processing, about the results which we can get from our analysis. Um, okay, uh, but before we have to change the analysis type to backlink in this um, combination which we can make and then uh, nonlinear analysis to large displacement. Then run the calculation. And you will see that newton raphson method has uh, appeared here. We have, uh, it's checking um, convergency of the solution. And if the structure is really soft, if it's delicate, if it's lightweight, then this um, large deformation and newton raphson method can, there, there is a chance that it will be not converging so easily. But uh, I will show you uh, in the um, trapezoid uh, shape uh, a little bit more about that. Right now, let's just um, close it. Let's see the results. I suggest you to just check the, or maybe when we are here, let's uh, just uh, in the displacement, let's just check the difference between nonlinear which is 42, and um, the <coughs> combination ULS, because it's 39. So it's <coughs> not so big, it's just three millimeters, or maybe it's sometimes it is big, but uh, remember that we are using uh, panels with 10 centimeters uh, height, which is <laughs> pretty enormous big. <coughs> For sure, it's not the um, thin uh, cross section. Okay, let's um, go and check uh, backlink, for example. Let's go for the results. And um, here, uh, advanced and the critical loads. We see that it's 8.4 when for the beam was uh, 7.6. So this is less conservative. It's um, we need <clears throat> a little bit bigger force here to make the structure uh, buckled um, from the stable position. But uh, maybe it's more accurate. So in this sense it's uh, maybe more reasonable to, to use this one. Let's check then the results, uh, the structural results, the inertial uh, forces. Let's go for the stresses on the x-x direction. And here we see something really stupid, that our stresses on the x-x are disappearing Appearing on one of the panels, I will just rotate and um, see how it looks. Oh, it's it's completely stupid. Why it is? It's just because it's uh, checking the stresses on the local system of the panel, and we see that this uh, x direction is rotated 90 degrees to this one. This is uh, rotated 90 degrees to this one, and <clears throat> this one is rotated 90 degrees. Uh, the true is that we have to just check it. Uh, there is a button, local panel direction. And here we can, um, I will just go for the basic view and uh, turn on one more time the local system of the panels. And then we can change the um, of local X direction. And then we can just click on the panel, um, like for example, this one and uh, create a direction vector. I will just give something like that. And we see that it's it adapt. Right now the x direction is here and we'll have to like uh, uh, create uh, the same for this panels. And we see that it uh, right now everything should be fine with the results because the x direction of the local of each of the local panels is the same. So let's go for the maps and see the xx. Uh, of course, it's not appearing because we have to recalculate the thing. Here we see that we have five increment number in the, it's just dividing the load uh, in, uh, 
Mm, I will just see why it's. No, oh, sorry, XX and click apply. Um, Maps, visual words. Okay. Mm, I will go for the results. Uh, result maps. Why, why? Okay. Now XX. It's still <clears throat> not perfect, but it's much better right now. Uh, the problem why for example here we have this jump uh, on the edges um, it's probably the mesh uh, itself so one thing which we have to adapt right now it's the mesh uh, if I turn on mm, the mesh mm, we say it's pretty coarse we could dance it mm, let's clean it uh, yes it will influence and then let's go for the parameters which is one meter long it's maybe not uh, let's do zero okay right let's run this uh, calculation mm. Let's see how the mesh is looking right now. It's very dense. Maybe I a little bit uh, overdose. Uh, I think my computer will handle. If uh, your your it's slower, just stay with 0 0.5 meter. Of course, uh, you can stay even with this very uh, very. Um, Chorus mesh uh, in this exercise, it's not really uh, a point to make a sophisticated mesh. Um, you see that the calculations are running a little bit slower, uh, also, when it comes to the Newton Raphson method. Um, it's right now with uh, no, this is uh, just the backlink analysis, so you know that it's like a value problem. And right now will be the nonlinear anal uh, analysis. And you see that we have five time steps. Mm, the method is the mm, moderate uh, Newton Raphson. It means that the stiffness matrix, uh, stiffness matrix, it's not uh, changed after um, every iteration. It's not adjusting, it's just the same stiffness matrix uh, on the beginning of every sub-step. Um, here you have the increment number, which is saying uh, how on how many steps the load was divided. And here you have the iteration number, which means on how many um, iterations the one uh, load step was divided. Um, here you have the required uh, convergency. You see this number, it's um, e, uh, 1 e to minus 4. And uh, yeah, if the criterion is fulfilled, then it's OK. If you go for the maps and x, x. OK, now we see that uh, the solution here, it's much uh, smoother. The colors are not jumping from one to another, especially on the notes. It's very important to not uh, have this dramatic change of the stresses because in between it's just the interpolation. So it depends on the accuracy of the shape functions of the each of the finite element. Uh, the results looks good. We see that we have some concentration here uh, close to the edge. Um, Let's go for the combination ULS to see the results. Mm, yeah, it's very close to the DL1. I think it's, yeah. But uh, we also go for the principal, no, for the complex and stresses, because we are dealing with the steel. So looking on the von Mises stresses, it's very accurate. And we see that we have 3.44 megapascals. It's super small. Uh, 
we are using still S355, which means that the limit is something close to the 355 megapascals. So we see that we are using like one um, percent of the uh, of the strength. But the problem here it's the not the stresses, it's the deformation, which is the problem. If we go for the principal and total displacement and click apply, here we can see that we have 24 millimeters for the self-weight for the combination SLS. It should be 29 and for the nonlinear, linear which uh, it's 43 millimeters. So, uh, it's pretty much, uh, but uh, remember that it's still 100 millimeters tall uh, height of the cross section. In your assignment, you should look for a little bit smoother, or not a little bit, it should be close to 100 millimeters. Check what is the best fitness to fulfill this criterion in 99%. It means that when you will have 99 millimeters here in nonlinear analysis, it means that you make uh, this assignment properly.